Kia ora, um, my name is Ngamako Allen. Uh, my whakapapa to Ngai Tamanuhiri and Rungu Whakata on my dad's side, and on my mum's side to Te Aitanga Hawati. That's my Ngāti Pro connection. Um, I've been working here for 25 years now. Um, originally when I started, it was at a, as a young mum with two um, young children who had started a kōng hangareo, um, the nannies there, the late nanny Waina um, Pumbrau. Um, suggested that I go to Mahi so that she could um, look after my tamariki. So I went to the um, Labour Department at that time and um, found that the scheme was going here at the library for six months to do retrospective cataloguing, which is transferring the books onto computers at that time. And um, so I started that for six months and then um, I went finished that and then over the next few years I came back on occasional um, three months or six months stints to cover staff um, holidays and I've been here ever since. I now work full time and I now specialise as a reference librarian. Being an avid reader, I just love reading. Um, my dad was an avid reader, um, we used to copy him reading and we couldn't read, but then as we learned how to read, um, we uh, knew the reason why he loved reading. And I guess that has um, carried on into my adulthood and having that passion about books. And also, especially here in Gisborne, in Tūranganui Akiwa, in this library, it's the love of working with people, especially our own Māori iwi. Um, we have a broad range of people that come in here. Um, lots of um, students, um, elderly, a really good mix of um, people really. Uh, we have a high percentage of Māori borrowers registered with us. In fact, half of the um, list of borrowers are Māori. For this library? Right, no, no. Oh, yeah. My role as the reference librarian um, generally is to look after the collections in this area, which is the reference area. This is the general New Zealand area and the Bell Levis collection down there. These um, resources that I have here are um, ones that are frequently used by um, students um, specifically because they are about the whānau from Ngāti Pro and um, the uniqueness is about like for the goldsmiths for example that would be with it of about Rangitukia, about the Waiapu River, about Hikurangi but it would be their unique experiences of what for example what Hikurangi meant to them, what the river meant to them it, and that's all in here. Also it has the marae and all the rohi where they grew up with, um, all their whānau and their tīpuna and how that kōrero was handed down from generation to generation. With the olive branches, what's interesting about that is that it's had Manuel Jose and his many wives. Now, the kōrero in that is about each wife and their particular whānau, the mokopuna, the tīpuna and, how, and that information and what this olive branch and this olive tree meant to them in terms of the tipuna manual Jose. So it's that sort of uniqueness. With Rangiwiya's Lament, that tells from which is um, done by um Waingata, in there it tells us all about the history of the Uawa Rohe, about the river, about Titirangi Maunga, about Te Rafioro, the Farewananga there. It's all in there and how um, the arts the arts were a great um, interest of the people in Te Rāwhiro and Aitanga Hawiti at that time. With Apirana's um, thesis, as I mentioned before, it's about the role of women in Ngāti Parau and the role they played in the development of the iwi and also the role that they um, play now. And I'm talking about people like Mihi Kotuki Tuki Stirling right up to Whaya McClatchy. That's all in there. The other interesting about the, uh, thing about this um, thesis is that he has all the haka from Ngāti Parau in there like Tihei Taru Ke Lua Moko and the whakamārama, what they're about, but it's interesting how they're related all into the iwi itself and the history of Ngāti Parau. Um, this one here about the whānau of uh, Maraihara uh, is very interesting because it's um, 
about Paratene Ngata's whanau, who's the brother of Apirana, and it's their branch of the the whakapapa. That's Mohi Tūrei, uh, very useful with students and um, second language learners. Um, very useful because of the reel that's used, very simple, and the grammar and uh, the format that they use in terms of um, setting out this book. One unique resource that we have um, that is the only copy that we know of is the Harris Whakapapa. They were compiled by Edward Harris, who was one of the early settlers of Tūranga Nui Akiwa. Um, his father, Captain Harris, um, was one of the first foundation members of Gisborne. Edward Harris um, was a very popular man with the iwi in Māori. So in terms of being able to write this whakapapa, it, it made it much easier for him. So um, at that time when he was writing them, his son Frank also helped him. And that's how these whakapapa came about. Um, in 1920, they were um, presented to the Native Land Court here in Gisborne. And then in 1950, they were um, given to the Gisborne Library. And um, at that time, they were part of the Romo Bao Nevis collection. And they've been here ever since. This one here is actually the work of Edward Harris's son, Frank. And it is handwritten. The only difference with this one is not only is it smaller, it has actually got a reference in the front. It actually tells you, takes you straight to the actual page number with whoever you are looking for. Whereas this one here gives you the page number and then you have to go and have a look at it. The same thing too. And that's how you um, use it. It does, you, it does get a lot of use now, more so now that um, we find that a lot of people are wanting to come back to Ngāti Parau to build, but they still have to complete the su succession. This is one way that they can, one resource they can use to help them. Yeah. The only thing I wanted to hear that was, um, that I thought would be useful is the Bell Nevis collection, right. which was um, compiled and collated by Ngāti Bellnevis from Ngaitā Manuhiri, who was the secretary to Apirana Rangata for 30 years. In that collection is all the books he collected of his time, but what we've done is we've actually added to it to keep the collection alive, and it actually belongs to the people of um, Tairawhiti, and our wish is that more people would come in and use it.